Hello and welcome to today's Coffee with Craig. This is where we talk about everything from pop culture, politics, sports, uh, you name it, all relating to the Second Amendment and firearms and obviously civil rights. So before we get started, please do me a favor, go ahead and share this video with your friends so that they can partake in the conversation. So Today, we're going to talk about, well, we're going to talk a little bit about the Texas shooting. And uh, one of the families, the family that had lost uh, uh, three victims, had three victims uh, in the Texas shooting, uh, is filing suit against the outdoor store, which actually sold the firearm uh, to the Texas church shooter. Now, n normally, I would be one that would just, you know, say, well, guys, don't you realize there's absolutely positively no way you should be able to sue these individuals? How can you possibly sue a store, you know, who basically followed the law in terms of selling this particular, in terms of selling a firearm? They, they basically facilitated the constitutional uh, exercising of a right, and I, I don't see how you can sue them for that. But in this particular case, there's one wrinkle. Now, what they're saying is that, well, the individual, when he filled out his form, uh, to purchase the firearm, he put a, a, a an address uh, in Colorado. Therefore, they're stating that the firearm should have been sent to or shipped to Colorado instead of given to the individual right uh, instead of given to the individual there where he was purchasing it in Texas. Now, I got to be honest with you. Um, I don't know if that is in fact against the law. Uh, I've done a little bit of research. Haven't done enough to really determine whether or not it it, it is it it. It is against the law or not, uh, but it is important to note that this is a little bit of a different wrinkle to this particular lawsuit. And, you know, that, that just goes to show that, you know, you know, ultimately what we need to be making sure is that everyone who's involved in the process along this way, it, it's the people who uh, didn't follow the law that are the ones uh, that need to be in cases like this. They're the ones that need to, to, that need to pay the price. You know, you have the Air Force, for example. They're the ones that actually did not uh, include the convictions for spousal and child abuse. Uh, they're the ones that didn't notify uh, that didn't notify uh, 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 ATF or didn't notify Nix that uh, that this individual had been convicted of those things. Otherwise, he would have never been able to purchase that firearm. Not in Colorado and and not in Texas. Uh, that's one group. And by the way, there are a number of the families that are in fact suing the Air Force. Uh, I, but I think that when, when an entity, when someone goes and they basically they follow the law, whether it's in the manufacturing of the firearm, whether it's in the, se the, the advertising of the firearm, or whether it's in the sale of the firearm, uh, those individuals, according to the law, at least according to federal law, uh, cannot be held financially liable. Uh, and by the way, shouldn't be held criminally liable either. Uh, you know, just like we don't do, we don't do that for people who, you know, Buy and sell and manufacture cars when a car is used in uh, when a car is used in a in in, in an accident and, and someone is injured or killed. Uh, we don't do that in, in any particular in any other area, but yet somehow we do have people who want to make it make it legal for people to be able to sue those who buy, sell, and promote firearms, uh, even if they don't violate the law. Well, I get it. Their whole goal is they want to put them out of business so that there is no one to manufacture or sell firearms, uh, at least not in this country. Uh, now, mind you, that won't make all the firearms that are in existence go away. That won't make firearms manufacturers in other countries go away. Uh, and that definitely won't make sure that the criminals don't have firearms. Uh, but hey, you know, that's the, uh, the mythical utopia that uh, many on the gun-grabbing left live in. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's Coffee with Craig. Please uh, check out the link. Uh, check out the article. It's actually you know, somewhat informative. Uh, but anyway, you guys take care. Uh, have fun and enjoy the rest of your weekend. If you like our videos, follow, subscribe, like, and share.